Hi guys, sorry about the way. I'm just trying to get this paper sorted just to the right size. Um, just while I'm, you know, trying to sort out this exam paper, my PC is lagging like crazy. Even though this is just PDF and stuff, and that's a sign I need a new PC. Um, so just, you know, I was talking in chat about, you know, level three chemistry next year. Um, so if you're doing level two chem, if you're planning to do level two chem, uh, sorry, level three chem next year, then you should, you know, try to be realistic. Um, organic is just a, it's just a must. You have to, you just have to do well in level two to um, level two organic to have any chance of passing level three um, organic next year. It's just how it is, unfortunately. Um, and I was saying in the chat before about level two um, reactivity, the calculations that you do, like pH calculation, hydroxide, hydroxide hydronium ion concentration calculations. Those are incredibly important like even though they seem really easy in year 12 but once they once you go into year level three those are like the basic basic calculations okay and they do if you think about doing medicine that particular paper from what i've been told is extremely helpful um, if you can do if you can do it really well in uh, level three because that's just pretty much like a repeat in a uni and that will relieve your um you know relieve your stress because you imagine being a med school student so you want to focus and do really well all right so let's go um so i'm just gonna speed run organic so um so this is 2017 organic um exam paper which i haven't done on my channel so i've done everything 2018 upwards um and with organic organic is probably the least um predictable exam i there are certain concepts that will be covered um, like say for example if I just find a bit of blank space you know for so important things so before I speed run this paper because just because of the nature of this um, standard um, so these are the things that you need to you need to think about all right so like the naming and drawing so that's like your basic achieve bullet points um, that's something that you need to think about if you if you want to pass um, and then you got your isomers so that include your structural isomers as well as um, system trans uh, geometric isomers geometric isomers which are your system trans isomers okay so you need to understand how you can have like say for example that's my pen let's say for um, structure isomer you can have something like c5h12 and i can draw it like this and i can draw it like this and i can draw it like this okay so these are structure isomers okay so that is something they need to know for structure isomer not so you know it's important in year 12 but that's even more important in level three um, geometric isomers is and excellence questions so you need to understand you need to have a cc double bond that prevents rotation around the double bond and then the two groups so you need to look at um, let's say i'm just going to put a b here it doesn't matter what they are okay so you need to look on the side you know if you look at this side the two groups bonding to the carbon are different if you look at this side the two groups bonding to this carbon is different and then if they are on the same side as this, if they are on the opposite side as trans, you know? So this is something that's quite, quite important. Cis and trans, yes, so that's excellent. And then once we've done that, what else is here? Uh, once we've done cis and trans isomers, um, obviously you have the flow chart. So the flow chart is, you just need to know the flow chart. You need to know the reagents. You need to know the type of reaction as well. Okay, and after that, you need to know the distinguishing tests. Um, so what do you use in each scenario? Like you use bromine water to distinguish alkanes, alkenes. You use carbonate or litmus paper to distinguish carboxylic acid. You use you can use water to distinguish alkanes, alkenes, alcohol, etc. etc. We'll talk about that when we get there. Um, and you know, so that's that's some of the main ones I'm trying to and then just below the flow chart you've got major and minor products so which is which falls under the 
flowcharts reactions, but they tend to ask those, um, you know, separately. So, so these are the main things that we kind of need to worry about. Um, and things like polymer, uh, like polymers, you can also click on polymers, addition, polymerization, which is only like an achieve question, maybe a merit question at best. Um, but that's about it. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll just have a look at, I'm just going to, like I said, the questions are unpredictable because they can use, um, they can use whatever, you know, as long as it's under this particular guideline, under the standards clarification, they can do whatever they want. Okay, so we'll just get there, we'll cross that, um, cross that water when we get there. Um, so let's start from the beginning. So this is 2017 paper, if you're wondering um, where this is from. So I'm just going to speed run some of this. Okay, so the first question, polymerization. So da -de da -de da I'm not even going to bother read that, not important. Okay, why is it not recording what I'm writing? Stupid thing. Please record what I'm writing. Why are you not recording what I'm writing? Okay, give me one sick. Do, 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 do. Okay, so it's recording it, just just not that well. Um, oops, I'm not sharing that. All right, so let's have a look at this. Um, let's get rid, get rid, get rid, get rid, get rid. All right, so if you have a additional polymerization, um, the major minor products we'll, we'll talk about there. Don't get there. No, you can't say rich gets richer, poor gets poorer. If you get, if you say that, you get nothing. Okay, don't say that. That's a law of economics. That's not a law of chemistry. Um, so let's look at this one here. All right. So this is a polymer. Okay. Um, and Stacy, how can a diode in a solution be identified? Just treat it like an alcohol. Okay. So we'll get we'll, we'll get there when we do the distinguishing test. So this is a polymer. Now, something that you can do is that you should be able to identify that these things are being repeated. Okay, so if they're being repeated, and this is what I tell my guys to do. So you just cut out one of the sections, copy it, and then do a double bond. There you go, done. Okay, and then if you want to go from this way to this way, what you could do is just, this is what, again, what I literally tell my students as well, just draw these next to each other, put one up, one down, one up, one down. And then what you're going to do is that you're going to get rid of one of the lines because you're going to break the double bond, connect, 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 and then this is going to repeat n times. Okay. Um, and explain the difference in structural chemical reactivity of the monomers and polymers. So essentially you, what you need to understand, again, you can look at the model answer for this, is that the monomer in this case, um, is more reactive because it's an alkene. So if you look at the question, so the monomer is going to be more reactive. So what's going to happen is that the monomer is going, is going to undergo addition reaction. You're going to break the double bond like what we did here, and they're going to join up together into a super long chain of polymers. And as a polymer, the polymer has a very low chemical reactivity. And that is the whole thing. The whole pur purpose of creating a polymer is that you want something that's durable, that doesn't react straight away. And, um, you know, it's a bit, it's quite tough and resilient, doesn't react. And that's everything we, we get from a polymer. And that's something you can think about. Okay. So polymer is normally, you know, it doesn't, again, this is an older paper, like six years ago. So polymer is not that big of a, um, I wouldn't emphasize it too much, but it's good to know the, um, the important sections. Okay. So as you can see, this paper has an entire question on polymers, which is really very unusual. Oh, yeah, so this, you know, the, the, whoever wrote this really love polymers. When you do level, th um, level three organic chemistry, you will have the, the, you have like an entire excellence question on condensation polarization. Okay, so you, like say for example, look at this, addition polarization. So you just need to explain that this, um, wait, it's H's, isn't it? I think it's H's, doesn't matter what it is, H's CL. So what you need to understand is that this, is an addition reaction. Why is that an addition reaction? Because you have broken the double bond and then the carbons add onto the neighboring carbons and then they join together. And it's a polymerization reaction because they're being repeated um, infinite amount of time, hence that's a polymerization question. Okay. Um, so the, the if, if you, for these ones, like it's, 
the problem, like I said, the polymerization questions are not that popular. Um, but like I said, they can ask you about it. And I do recommend, you know, you can find the NCA exams online, uh, the answers online. Um, just just have a read. It's, it's all there. Just look at the evidence section. Just look at how they answer it. But it, my job here is essentially to make sure you understand how this works. Okay, I don't want to type out entire paragraph answers because that will take precious time. Okay, right. So we're just going to go past this. Let's have a look at that. Okay, okay. So this is looking at KOH ALK. So if someone was asking about um, major minor products. This doesn't have major minor products because of the fact of the CL. Okay. Um, the most common questions, naming, flow charts, distinguishing tests. That's all the f common questions they will ask. Now, so this is, I actually want to use this question as an opportunity. Now I'm going to scrap this question. Okay. This question is not the best. I'm going to do this one instead. Okay, so this is not from the exam, from not from this exam. Yes, heat is important for the catalyst reaction. Now, I, I want to use this one as an opportunity to practice this. Uh, not for ALK, not for KOH alcohol, Stacy, not required. KOH AQ. Okay, so this is not answering this exam question. I'm going to say it one more time, you know, before someone says in the comment section, but, but, but the question is different thing. Okay, different thing. So I'm just, I'm just using, you know, just using this a bit of space. So ignore everything that, that's up here. Ignore everything that's up here. I just want to go through this reaction because this is one of those very, very common reactions that pops up in year 12 and even in year 13. Okay, so this is, you, first of all, you need to understand, to, um, the first thing you need to understand is the condition. This is alcohol, so that means your KOH is dissolved in alcohol. Over here, your KOH is dissolved in water. And when your KOH is dissolved in a different solvent, that means they will catalyze a different kind of reaction. Okay, so one is doing, let's start with the easy one. So one does it dissolving in AQ in, in water. What's going to happen is that this CL, so remember, one thing that people always um, complain about, I so much remember, and I don't disagree. But if you understand organic chemistry, it wouldn't be that difficult. You just need to always find the functional group. It is always the functional group that carries out a chemical reaction. It's not, it's not this carbon over here. That carbon doesn't do anything. Okay, that doesn't do anything. So what's going to happen here is that, let's say for the KOH AQ, what's going to happen here is that everything else stays exactly the same. And then what you do is that you simply replace one of the CL, the CL with an OH, and this is a substitution reaction. Okay, that's a substitution action. All right. Um, now, tutorial for chemical reactivity, that's three days later. Okay, so check the community page. Do we need to worry about cyclo? Cyclo, not quite. That's like Cambridge A level uni stuff. Um, don't worry about it. Um, now for for the calculate uh, for the KOH alk. Now when you have alcohol, this is an elimination reaction, and I always like using this example, and because it's um, happened to me and my friends a few times. Like say if you, you know, when you drink a lot of alcohol, you lose stuff. Like you lose your keys, you lose your wallet, you lose um, you know, you lose your credit card and whatnot. Definitely not me. Um, so what happens is that when you you know when there's alcohol involved, you lose stuff. So you eliminate. Okay, so you lose part of your position. So you lose the CL. And when you're drinking, if you look at over here, if you're drinking a lot of water, you know, if you drink water, you know that then later on you need to go to the bathroom because what has the water done is that it replaces some of the body fluid inside you. So that's a substitution reaction. Okay, so that's how I always tell people to remember, I don't even know how many people like using the analogy, but you know, I, I love using analogies to try to get you guys to understand and that's the best one I can come up with. Okay, so in this case, this is an elimination reaction. So you need to understand that this CL has to go. And when this CL goes, then we need to look at the possibility. I can take away one of these hydrogens on the left hand side, or I can take away one of the hydrogens on the right hand side. So this is why you have two products. So this is when you have, um, this is a Zaysev rule, because when you're trying to form a double bond, so what you can do is simply just, 
just copy and pasting okay so if i form a double bond here like say if i lost this hydrogen here i'm going to form a double bond here and then you just copy everything else okay now if i form a double bond here with this carbon when i lose that hydrogen then that's going to look like that over here and then you need to talk about which one is major which one is minor so in this case you're losing stuff so you can in your head think about all right rich gets richer poor gets poorer all right i'm losing stuff the poor people are going to get poorer you know just like nowadays in our economy in our society so the poor gets poorer so this carbon has less hydrogen so it is more likely for that carbon to lose another hydrogen so this is going to be major and this is going to be minor okay and someone's typed that in the chat just before um and you know the answering of this so you do not just say oh rich gets rich or poor gets poor therefore this is the answer if you write that you get nothing you get absolutely nothing okay so what you need to understand and i and i personally find numbering the carbons quite easier so i'll slow down a bit for over here so what you can do in this case i'll draw it again so it's a bit messy okay so i'm just going to say very slowly so you can pause and you know play a bit slower if you want let's number this as carbon number one carbon number two carbon number three carbon number four okay so for this elimination reaction all right for this elimination reaction what's going to happen is that the chlorine will be eliminated and when the chlorine gets eliminated then carbon number one and carbon number three which are the neighboring carbons would you know one of those will lose a hydrogen and then a double bond is formed between carbon number one and number two or carbon number two and number three okay so and then we look at this and we go all right carbon number three has less hydrogens compared to carbon number one which have three hydrogens therefore it is more likely for carbon number two to lose another hydrogen therefore double bonding with the carbon number two making this hence this is a major product therefore the other one's a minor product if you can do that if you can confidently do that so this is applying to the sub uh, elimination reaction you know the poorer gets poorer that will give you excellence for this question okay and if you can apply that when we do the addition reaction you know rich gets richer you, and then that one is just other way around you know you the carbon with more hydrogens will will be more likely to gain another hydrogen you know so it's the opposite so just remember one the other one's the opposite and if you just explain it like i did just now you will be totally fine do not use rich rich gets richer like don't even write it down don't bother man like it's not going to give you anything okay um but 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 and this is where people go i just want to pass the standard how can i do that if you can just draw the products you get achieved text you can you know you just draw them like i i really don't like if you remember that you know drunk people lose stuff if you see koh calc uh, sorry alk and then you're just going to lose a cl lose a br and then you just take away the hydrogens from near um from the neighboring carbons and double bond you get to achieve achieve text right there you need eight to pass you have you know your your 20 20 20 percent 25 percent there okay so just don't give up on the question could i go oxidation reaction i will do that later um i think stacy asked me about some sulfuric acid stuff i did see did i see the sulfuric acid question oh there we go major minor problem propen yeah so here's another one so just elaborate on this so propen 2o so this is propen 2o okay so it's the same thing same question okay i'm not even gonna bother with these ones i might as well put them in here okay so what we got here so same thing this is another another reaction so this is conch h2so4 so this is another elimination reaction elimination reaction is making the double bond so same thing here so you can try this if you want and think that, and, and think about this um in your head oh sorry propen tool i did pentan tool my bad now if you do pentan if you do propen tool then this is this question is straight away this is probably not an excellent question because the difficulty will just come down by a lot if it's propen to all and then you do h and then if you do conch 
H2SO4. Now what's going to happen here is that again the OH will be eliminated and then you take away this H and you take away this H. And then if you actually look at it, it makes no difference which H it takes because it's symmetrical. So you can just take away this one and double bond and then this is the answer. Okay, so just one answer. Um, yeah, so what do we, when do we need to include here? Okay, so I think a lot of people are asking questions. So I'll just move on from this one. All right, so let's look at some, so I kind of did this one already, so I'm not gonna do that again. So this is something similar. So this is three methyl butane, so four, um, two bromo, three methyl. Okay, so if you want, you can, I don't know, try this yourself because I already, you know, already gone through, already gone through that question just now. So you need to understand, you know, which one's major, which one's minor. So you can do that as a practice, okay? Because I already kind of did that here. Because I'm trying to make sure you understand. So a lot of people are asking about this distinguishing tests, and none of these are distinguishing tests. Does this question not have a lot of distinguishing tests? Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, so um, so quite a few questions that um, people ask about distinguishing tests, so I might as well go through them, okay? So someone sent me this on Discord. If you, I said, who was it? I think it was Lemon Can or someone that was, um, that was, um, that sent to me. Like they, they found this on, um, on a, on a, on a, on a, on a book. Um, which I personally think is bloody amazing. If you give me one sec, I'm just gonna chuck that in the in the Discord thingy majiggy. And by the way, if you're not in the NCA um, help one two three level one two three Discord channel, you should totally join that. It's very good. I'm gonna chuck it in here. Hold up, I will just um, open it. Where the hell is that channel? Here it is, open the original. Okay, I'll just chuck it over here. Okay, so this is a, you know, this is on that Discord, um, you know, this is that page. I think this is perfectly summarizes everything that I, I would like to do. Okay, so you, you, you can summarize it like this. You've got bromine water. Okay, so you've got bromine water here. Bromine water separates alkanes, alkenes, okay? Alkanes is very slowly, it goes from orange to colors, but then with alkanes, it goes from orange to colors very slowly. Okay, acidified permanganate, you do that with primary alcohol. Dichromate, you do that with primary alcohol. One goes from purple to colors, one, go, you, um, one, go for, uh, one goes from, um, what, what do you call it, um, orange to green. And then carbonate, you do distinguish that, um, you use that to distinguish carboxylic acid. And then solubility, your alkanes, alkanes, alkynes, your haloalkanes do not dissolve in water. Two layers. Your alcohol, your carboxylic acid, your amines, one layer. Okay? And that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Okay? That's pretty much a really good page. So if you you know, and then it, it, it just it, it summarizes everything I want to do. So it actually saved me quite a bit of time. <laughs> So that, if you in the Discord channel, um, if someone can chuck a link, if you're already in the channel, you can send it in my link in here. Um, so this is in the textbook, this is not me. So this is, I think, a study guide. This summarizes everything beautifully with colors as well. So um, I will highly recommend you to, um, I don't know, take a screenshot. I'll stop moving, all right? You can take a screenshot and then, I don't know, you can take it and use it and memorize it and hopefully it comes up, okay? All right. All right, just go through some of the questions for now. Can you go through reaction rates? Identify what is okay, okay. So I've done that. Do you specify the temperature and reaction scheme? You just say heat. Heat is fine. How can a dial solution be identified, Stacy? So same thing. Treat it like an alcohol. Okay. So if it's if it's a primary alcohol, it can be oxidized to carboxylic acid. Um, yeah. The Discord is not in the, in my link. Uh, the Discord is how the heck do I invite people to do just it's a public um, it's a public server
which is here. Um, so you can just join the server. I'm, I'm quite active on that. All right. Um, anything else? Combustions, uh, Amy, combustions rarely gets asked. Um, Theo, the Lord will stay on the channel. Um, how can I dial a solution? We already done that. With the dissolving water, how can we tell? Short chain alcohol is always dissolving water. So a few people ask me about solubility. Okay, so let's have a look at the solubility. So solubility. So if you have um, your hydrocarbons, hydrocarbons, and halo alkanes, halo alkanes. Excuse my handwriting. These things will only give you. Um, these things will give you two layers in water. So one way to think about you make a wine set. Think about oil. All right, Here's, is anyone seen those horrible oil leaks from those uh, drill um, drilling stations in the in the ocean? The oil stays on the top of water. Why don't they dissolve with water? Because the polarity is different. So they don't dissolve. You see two layers. That's how you can tell. So your alcohol, your amine, your carboxylic acid. Um, these things will dissolve. So you see two layers. Uh, there's two layers. One layer one layer okay so you will see one layer because they dissolve all right um can i go over acids and base reactions i actually can do that so you know I think maybe some so many so many of asking questions I'll, I'll go through those questions a little bit later those um, exam questions um carboxylic acid with acid base reactions um the a main is not i mean this is kind of like 2.6 territory okay so your nh like say for example ch3 nh2 this is a weak base what does it do so this is kind of now i will prefer you to do it like this but in 2.5 it doesn't really matter because it's, we're not testing for this all right so if you didn't write an equilibrium if you just write a single error i think we'll forgive you for, for organic we will not forgive you for rea um, reactivity so a main is a weak weak base so what do weak base do is that they accept another proton so they become ch3 and h3 plus plus oh minus okay so that's what they do as a base um so if you think about ch3 cooh as a carboxylic acid this is a weak acid so what it does is that it's going to donate the h to that again this is three two point six stuff coo minus plus H3O plus, okay? Now, one thing that you need to remember is that acid plus carbonate gives you salt and water. And the most important one that we need to see for, phys um, for observation is carbon dioxide. Okay, carbon dioxide, you see bubbles. So if you have a car carboxylic acid that you want to distinguish, you put it with a carbonate, you see carbon dioxide gas, you see bubbles. Okay. Can a dial dissolve in water? Of course you can. What do we need need to know about combustion? Amy, you just need the combustion reaction. They just burn oxygen, produces CO two and water. That's all you need to know. How can dichromate be used to distinguish an amine and alcohol? Well, alcohol will oxidize, and your amine doesn't do anything with the dichromate, Stacy. So your alcohol, if it's a primary or secondary alcohol, it will oxidize. You go from orange to green. From alkene to halalkene, can the halogen function group be, re be connected to any carbon? And how do you determine the major minor product for the from alkane to haloalkane? Can the halogen function group to connect? Oh, I see what you mean, Stacey. Um, so this is something that's um, like say for I know I think I know what you mean. I say if I have CH three, CH two, CH two, CH three connected like react with BR2 I think you're asking me where does the BR go now the BR normally goes on the carbons at the end okay so just pick a carbon at the end don't go for the one in the middle because it can't get there because the other carbons and hydrogens will be in the way um, so the BR will go on the end they don't have major minor products okay can you show how to do amine and carboxylic acid salt amine and carboxylic salt so you mean reacting with amine with carboxylic acid sure if you really want to <laughs> I don't know why you want to do that but sure 
Oops, shoot, what, just, what the hell just happened there? Ah! My pen is, I pressed the button, now it's doing crazy stuff. Hold on. Okay, I fixed it. Okay. Stupid tablet. I prefer whiteboard marker, so much better. Okay, so for example, this is acid, this is base, neutralization. I think a lot of you guys are just asking questions as you're not asking the right questions to prepare for an exam. If, you'd, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you want to learn more about organic, I think you're asking wonderful questions, but if you're preparing for an exam, a lot of you are not asking questions for like merit and excellence. You just, yeah, so this is your salt. There you go. Kind of tertiary and secondary alcohol oxidized. Secondary can be oxidized. But you don't learn that in year 12, they see 13. Tertiary cannot. Um, how does the length of carbon chain affect solar plate? Now, all about that is a question I like. Um, so, sh short chain versus long chain. So, this is actually, again, not a very exam focused question, but it's actually really interesting. Short chain, long chain. If you think about this, this is CH3OH versus CH3. CH2, let's say 20 OH. So what is the difference? If we have a short chain alkane, uh, sorry, alcohol, the OH group is polar. And if we want to dissolve in water, obviously polar, you know, polar dissolves in polar, da, da, the force of attraction, look at my 2.4 volts. Um, so the OH group over here is more significant, okay? But if you look over here, look how many carbons I have. I have 21 carbons on this side. So despite this thing being polar, this is more significant. So that's why the solubility decreases because this section that I just highlighted is non-polar. So non-polar doesn't dissolve in polar. And that's, that's why, in a short way. Yeah, it's a welcome, uh, welcome tablet. Linking the linking the structure of the monomer and polymerase reactivity it might just look at the 2017 find the exam answers for that Okay, find the exam answers for that In explain addition polymerization again go back to the beginning of the video. I'm not redoing that again. Okay, I did that at the beginning All right go back to the some of the questions How do we know it's polar non-polar that's just structure bonding <laughs> How do you know something's polar non-polar? Anything you see in organic chem that's like this, da, 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 like this stuff, this is always non-polar. Anything that you see something like something like Cl, something nitrogen, something oxygen, something COOH, these things are all polar. Okay, this is polar. This is non-polar. Can we practice some of the reactions? Of course, we can. Did you do explain distinguishing tests here? I kind of did. I showed that page. So if you go up, scroll up, there's a Discord link. If you go there and pick level two chemistry, you should find a, um, that, was a that was shared by someone in the chat. I think that page was really good. Um, you can have a look at it. Uh, if, we, if there are more re um, distinguishing test questions, I can do that here. Okie dokie. All right, let's have a look here. So this thing here, this is an alcohol function group. Circle two other function groups, three achieved. One, two, done. Um, let's classify the function group as primary, secondary, tertiary. I think um, this should be no problem. So if you look, look at your OH, let me use a different color. So if you look at your OH group here, um, this OH is bonding to a carbon that's bonding to two other carbons. So this is a secondary alcohol. How did you classify that? Because my OH group is bonding to a carbon that's bonding to two other carbons. Just write that, merit, easy peasy. Um, naming, um, do I need to do naming? If, if there's request to do naming, I can do that. Because there's, oh, like this is something that's only achieved, okay? Like if you're going for merit X, don't even bother with the naming. Um, this one here, draw four alkene isomers for C4H8. Okay, so this is a question that I like. All right, C4H8. So this is one, two, three, four. Now this is an alkene. So this is the first one. So what I would recommend you when you draw the structural isomers uh, um, for the structural isomers is to do something like this. Okay, you probably notice I haven't done the um, I haven't done the um, what do you call it 
Um, just one sec. Let me get rid of this. Let me get rid of this. Let me get rid of this. Where's my page? Here it is. Um, let me find that question really quick. Oh, stupid thing. Um, because what you need to no wrong one. Bloody hell. I'm trying to find something here to to project. Uh, excuse me, ignore that, ignore that, ignore that. Um, where is it? Can I find that thing that I can share with you guys? Uh, no, nah, I can't. It's okay. It's right. So, so what you normally want to do with this is just make sure that you can, um, you can draw these now. This is where it gets, let, let me put the hydrogens in there. So when you draw the structure isomers, just move the double bonds around. Okay, just move the double bonds around like I did. And this is where you're gonna, if you did everything like I did just now, you're gonna come up, you're gonna, oops, CH2. You're gonna have a bit of problem. You're gonna be like, hey, I only did three. I can't make another one. Okay, so this is where they actually want you to draw the cis and trans version of one of the pol uh, one of the one of the isomers, which is going to be this one. Okay, so I'm not going to draw that one there, because what they would like you, I mean, what we would like you to do, is to identify it like this, which is a bit of a, you know, I don't want to swear, but you know. Bit effed up if you ask me because they are trying to ask you to do the cis and trans isomers in here um, which is not the best but but if you don't do it like this you can't fit the four isomers okay so this is butuanine this is uh, methyl uh, pro propane this is cis butuanine this is trans butuanine okay All right, I'll, I'll come back and do the naming later. All right, so let's have a look. Identify the compound. So they kind of told you one of those is cis, one of those trans from a table above. So which one is cis? Number two. Which one's trans? Number four. Okay. Which page was uh, that resource of? It's on the level two chemistry Discord page on that NCA server. Right, now justify choice. Why only these two have cis and trans isomers? Okay. All right, now, this is where you need to understand geometric isomers. Remember the two conditions we talked about? You must have this, and all of them have this. And then the two groups bonding to the carbons in the double bond must be different. So if you look over here, there's two hydrogens wrong. Look over here, two hydrogens wrong, because it cannot be the same atom bonding to the carbon in the double bond so you just look at the double bonded um even this one like look at that look at that that's wrong as well okay so the two at the the two things bonding to the carbon with the double bond has to be different so if you look over here you know this is the correct one can you see this and this is different can you see this and this is different 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 so that's your criteria okay there's your criteria. Why only those two form those? And you can explain it like that. Can you draw geometric isomers with all of the hydrogens instead of putting the double one in the middle? Uh, Lex, I don't know what you mean. Can you draw geometric isomers with all of the hydrogens? I just did that. Instead of putting the double one in the middle. Oh, I see what you mean. But trust me, man, it's easier to put the double one in the middle. Otherwise, we can't tell. Okay. All right, someone asked to do the naming, so why not? So let's do the naming. So this is alkyne. So this is one, two, three, four, five carbons. So this is pentyne. Where's the where's the Y and E? Where does it start? It starts on the first carbon, so it's pent one i And then if you look at the next one, um, this is bromo so one two three four five six so this is hexane oh, why am i writing at the, at the beginning so this is hexane okay so this is two bromo three methyl hexane all right two bromo three methyl hexane if you look at look at this one this is hydroxy one two three four five 
So this is pen 10, where's this, where's the OL? Three on the third carbon, one, two, three. And then, oh, sorry, I shouldn't have count this way. One, two, three, four, five. So it's still on the third carbon, but then there's a two, two dimethyl, two, two dimethyl on the second carbon, two, two methyl groups, so two, two dimethyl. Yep. So halogen function group, well, anything, you know, priorities, the double bond is always more important. And then the hydroxy group, and then your halogens, and then your carbons, branches, and then the carbons and hydrogens are the least important. Okay, so we look for those unique elements, like bromine, OHs, you know, and then we prioritize them. Okay. Next one, alkanes and alkenes. So here we go. Alkanes and alkenes can be distinguished by bromine water. So we use, you know, we compare the type of reaction. So alkane, so remember, alkane with bromine water. This is substitution reaction. And this is, it goes from orange to colorless. Colorless, very, very slowly. Whereas if you go from alkene to Br with Br2, you make a um, addition reaction, and this is very, very fast. So you need to explain the reaction, like say alkane, why is it a substitution reaction? Because one of the Br is substituted into the molecule. Why is the Br2 reacting with alkene in an addition reaction? Because you're breaking the double bond, then you, add, you are adding the two Br's across. Okay, so nice and easy. All right, here's a flow chart. So apologies, I probably won't be answering any questions for now because we're doing the flow chart. So let's do the flow chart. So with with any given flow chart, here's usually one, two, three, four. Bromine water is only used to for alkenes and alkenes. Useless to distinguish anything else. All right, so here we go. So this is an alkene. This is ethane. So we added H2O slash H plus, so that means this is an addition reaction. So what you need to do is just, you know, I do this with my guys as well. You know, with addition reaction, you just break the double bond and then you add what you added in here, which is H2O. H2O is just OH and H. So you're just adding those two parts into the molecule. It doesn't matter which way it does because this, this is symmetrical. It doesn't matter where it goes. So how do I turn an alcohol into a carboxylic acid? You need to either use MnO4 minus slash H plus, or you can use Cr2072 minus H plus. Please pick one. Don't write both. Pick one, okay? Um, write the one that you're most comfortable with, okay? Now, these has to be 100% correct. If you got the charges wrong, if you forgot to write a two, if you forgot to write a seven, then it will be marked incorrectly. All right, next one, right, so we're going from alkene to compound C, no idea what it is. It goes into Cl2, UV light. Hmm, and then compound D with NH3 turned into this, so go backwards. So that means the CH3, CH2, um, this must be Cl. All right, how do I know that must be Cl? It's because Look over here, that's NH2. I added NH3 alk, and if you look at your flow chart that your teacher have drawn for you, or he printed off online or something, you should know that if you want to make an amine, you said you make it with NH3 alk, or and sometimes a bit of heat as well, and this you need haloalkane. Okay, so you need some sort of bromo or some sort of chloro. Uh, chloro. How do I know it's chloro? Because there's a Cl2 here. So that must be chloro. And then this is other condition. Uh, sorry, I didn't mention that in this question here. To go from alkane distinguishing case, you always need UV light as a catalyst. So this is, has to be an alkane. This is that one. This is CH3, CH3. Must be an alkane. So reagent 3 must be H2 slash platinum. And that is your excellence question. Okay. Let's have a look. Will adding Br2 to alkane, the substitute reaction produce a haloalkane? Haloalkane, just haloalkane. If you do this long enough, you actually make a dihaloalkane, so you're not wrong here. It will take time to substitute them out. Yeah, so it's actually, you're not wrong, you know, so actually both of them is correct. So they first produce a haloalkane, and over time you actually replace more hydrogens over time, 
okay? But you need UV light. Okay, now, this is, just want to elaborate on this, okay? Because I, there's no point, yes, it is preferred, Stacy. numbering is preferred, house dial formed from L King, dial formed from L King. How do you make a dial? You use, you use M04 minus, you H plus, so what happens is that you break this double bond, OH, OH dial, okay? Am I going to do level one math? I'm, a, I'm not a math teacher. That's Mr. Infinity plus one. I, th I think everyone knows who he is. Okay, now I want to go through something really quick, okay, with the, with the flowcharts. This is what I personally find helpful with the flowchart. And I think my students can be a bit overwhelming can be a bit overwhelming you know how I'm not sure if you you can you know type this in the chat I don't know if your teacher taught you this you know how you have L King turn into L King and then your L King turn to L Go you can start typing already like does your teacher if your teacher teaches you like this you can you can tell me with dial I'm not saying it's wrong you know with halo L King and then you have h2 slash PT um, you can have um, going backwards as well. So this is H2O slash H plus. This is MNO4 minus. Uh, you get the point. Okay, you get the point. If, if you're trying to, and I will strongly recommend you um, to study, to learn the flowchart in this method that I'm going to show you. Okay, I would, per I personally, I still do this on, you know, what I just done on the book, on the thing. However, you can memorize that you can go into the exam and write that in the back of another exams booklet but if you don't understand what you just you know if you don't understand the reaction what you just done doesn't really help you like it will probably give you a few achieved texts and that's about it this is what i really recommend you to do okay if you understand this you would un you would ace the reaction flowchart and i always recommend people to to do this just start with something simple just start with something simple. Just B20. Nice and easy. Okay, just start with B20. This will give you everything. This will cover every single reaction you need to worry about. So let's start with B20. If you can turn that into, you know, you can fit that. You know, look at the flowchart, like Lex said, if that's how your teacher taught it. Can you replace that L King with B20? Can you go through the flow chart? Like say for example, if I react this with H2PT, what do I make? If I react this with H2O slash H plus, what do I make? If I react this with MNO4 minus H plus, what do I what do I make? If I react this with BR2, what do I make? If I react this with HCl, if you can do that, you know, then there is uh, then there's merit actually remembering the flow chart that way because if you remember the flow chart like this one up here but you don't know how to use it then you just remember something for and for nothing you pretty much just wasted half an hour of your life you need to learn how to use it and this is what I always say to my guitars I go so if I memorize the flow chart then I'll, I'll pass then I'll and, and I always say is that if you don't know the flow chart the chances of you the chance of you passing is very slim but if you do know the flow chart you know if you just memorize the flow chart it doesn't mean you pass because you actually need to know how to use it okay so for example I'll, I'll speed run this all right so b20 for example you should know that this turns into this and, and I'm not going to go through every single reaction because I can't teach you everything that you learned for six weeks in one hour but I'm just gonna give you you know some of the answers for these this is your dial and then if you read with h2 or h plus you are going to make again feel free to pull, uh, pause the video if you're watching the walls later uh, oops ch2 oh i do this with my year 12s and 13s every single year it can be extremely overwhelming if you don't know the basics, but this is a really, really um, 
a good practice to see if you actually know what you're doing okay because if you don't know how to do this then you don't know how to do flowchart and if you know how to do this flowchart you can do any flowchart so this is uh, major this is minor and I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say to you okay because it's not that I'm saying that your teacher taught it the wrong method it's definitely not that it's more of a how to use it okay like so you can see I'm doing major I can't fit everything here this is major minor you can actually I can actually react I'm gonna use the red pen so you can see I can actually react this to turn to this which is using KOH AQ you know so I can actually react this further and further but you get the idea you just pick look at the flowchart if you want to test if you know how to do the flowcharts B20 put it in the middle see if you can do all the major minor products see if you can go backwards see if you can connect them together and that's a good way to go about it okay let's see it's a halogen functional group prefer you know we already done that get married on organic yeah I think it's really easy what does amine react with and form and what do carbons react with um, that's just acid plus base Stacy aiming 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 reactions is just I already did that up there go back to the vaults I kind of did that already well alkanes always react with HCl or HBr to form dye no Stacy what you said is wrong will alkene always react with HCl to form dye halo no there's no dye you only have one Cl you are only adding one Cl okay so thank you Amy you answered that question already is it bad that I have no idea what's happening so this is what I meant but like it's um, Mr. Slift is it or Mrs. Slift I don't know if you know your gender um, this is what I'm talking about like if you're learning flowchart like this what you're staring at right now but if you can't use it then you don't know how to do flowchart okay it's as simple as that if you don't know how to use what you memorized then you do not understand it and then you can't get um, anything higher than a couple of G's what condition do you need for polymerization heat plus pressure okay so let's go back let's move away from the so this is why this whole thing this question three um, this is all you know accents this is the entire flowchart okay now distinguishing test let's I'll do it here because they have some questions in here and yeah I think that will that will be quite a quite a bit quite a good here all right types of reactions so let's have a look from compound A that occurs to produce compound A so this is oxidation um, for B where the house B this is again oxidation oh wait why did I say oxidation that's addition sorry that's addition and then for C that is I can't see that's also addition um, for D that is substitution and for E is substitution All right to make compound D substitution to make compound E substitution okay yeah so I, I don't know it, it's it can be extremely difficult like if you're looking at what I'm doing and you are completely lost that just means you don't have the basics okay so if you don't have the basics you need to go back to the study guide go back to your textbooks and actually look at, you need to look at individual reactions before you do the flow charts if you can't learn the pieces of the puzzle you can't do the whole thing together in one go okay so don't give up go back to the study guides look at each function group look at the type of reaction and slowly put them together okay do we know the fraction of distillation no distillation is here 13 okay so that's just fractional distillations how you know cracking and all that going from alkene to alkane not really Cambridge people are doing that but not for not us right simple test to distinguish between solutions of the final organic compounds B and E okay so what's B and E Distillation is mentioned. Yes, it is mentioned, but no one I ever. You go through the past seven years, exam, you won't find a single word of distillation in there. 
because it's a experimental technique um, doesn't really get covered all right how do we distinguish b and e so this is where you can use so b is a carboxylic acid um, the uh, e is an amine so what you can do you can use litmus paper very simple because carboxylic acid will turn red litmus amine will turn blue or if you want you can use um, you can use something like sodium carbonate sodium carbonate what that does is that when this react with the acid you are going to see carbon dioxide bubbles and that will not react with the amine okay All right, B and E react together. Oh, I kind of did that already, haven't I? Spectroscopy is the thing, yes. So CH3, COH, all right, B and E. So CH3, COOH plus CH3, CH2, NH2. So I kind of did this already. This is an acid base reaction. You, this is an acid, it donates the H plus away, so it becomes CH3COO minus. Where did the H go? The H went on to the nitrogen, so CH3 and H3 plus. Okay, justify the type of reaction. This is year 11 stuff, this is neutralization. Okay, because what is happening here with the amine, and this is carboxylic acid, which is acidic. This is a base, weak base, acid plus base, neutralize. You have the donation of H plus to the other one, which is the, um, yeah. All right, I'm just gonna, are there any other questions? Explain how A from the reaction scheme can be directly converted to D. What's A? A is ethanol, ethanol to D. Oh, easy. How do I turn, how do I turn this? How do I turn this? To thus SOCL2 done substitution all right so I think I've done all the questions yes I've done all the questions okay so now it's more of a I know a lot of you have questions um, but you need so first thing first learn the basics okay so especially with the flow charts if you don't know the the individual reactions you need to spend some time on that before you actually do the chemical uh, before you do some of the exams okay that's just a basic basic part that you need to do first all right all right let's go through some of those could you tell me about spectroscopy internal that's year 13 but learn that next year well if you're year 13 already your school would have already done it um spectro do i know okay so when a halo arcane goes into a main why do we write NH3 as a reagent and write NH2 on the structure. Okay. Because this is what happens. If I react those NH3, okay, actually, let me write it like this. This is NH3, okay, so this is for user 1, 2, 3, 4. So what's going to happen here? This is, we're going to have a substitution reaction, and when you go to uni, you're going to learn the mechanisms and all that sort of fun stuff. So what's going to happen is that this and this are going to swap places, pretty much. Well, not swap places. Is that the Cl gets kicked out? All right. So the Cl is like off you go, and then the nitrogen comes around to the carbon, and then it kicks out the hydrogen. It's like the nitrogen is like, hey, I found this carbon. This guy's better. So what's going to happen here is that the carbon, this carbon, is going to bond to this nitrogen and its two hydrogens. So the H and Cl that got kicked out, they're going to start hanging out together. And that's why it's that. So the NH3 here is a reagent. And this is where it's NH2 because it's bonded to the carbon. Nitrogen bond three times. Okay, so that's why you either see NH3, so thank you, Amy. So you, you either have NH3, which your nitrogen is bonded to three hydrogens, or your nitrogen is bonding to two hydrogens and a carbon, three bonds. However, you can pick up another bond, you know, like NH3 plus, you know, it, something like, you know, if, you, the, the thing that we did here, oops, um, the thing that we did here. Uh, where the hell did I do it? Right here. You know how this hydrogen 
so look at this nitrogen right now this nitrogen has three bonds but then this hydrogen comes over here it gained another nit uh, gained another hydrogen so if you look at this nitrogen right now it has three bonds plus the carbon so it's bonding four times that's why it has a positive one charge okay all right so the the key thing that i would like you to especially if you're watching this live that i want you to take away is if you want to pass all right just passing i mean let's go backwards if you want to do level three organic chemistry you want to realistically you want to get at least a merit okay realistically because all of the stuff that you learned this year will come up again next year so if you don't know it this year you're not going to know it next year it's as simple as that okay i've been doing this for quite a few years and i can tell you from experience if anyone fails level two organic the chance of that person passing level three organic is extremely slim so work backwards okay so if you want to do level three chem you need to do well in level two organic okay so you need to spend some time on this all right so how do you how do you do well you can need to start with the basics of naming you need to start with the basics of drawing you need to start with the basics of isomers okay because those things are you know the basics once you have got um once you got the level you know what do you call it once you once you got the basics you need to start looking at the function groups and the individual chemical reactions and then once you can do that you know you're comfortable and that's when you start doing flow charts and that's when you start doing distinguishing tests because distinguishing tests is quite straightforward okay so your so flow chart is probably the most difficult one um, and then you got your major minor so the excellence questions are normally your major minor questions your cis and trans isomers your flow charts your distinguishing tests those are your not normally your guaranteed um your guaranteed excellence questions okay the naming the drawing you know the basics remembering part of the flow chart um, tell me if something primary second tertiary alcohol you know those things like achieved and if you can do do most of it, it's merit and then you know you get the idea okay so go backwards all right so if you're giving up chemistry i'm um, giving up on chemistry next year then i wouldn't swear too much about it but really realistically if you are doing level three chem you can you won't regret this spend some time on organic i would probably spend the most time on level two organic because next year for level three chem um 3.4 is if you can do 2.4 you can do 3.4 if you can't do 2.4 that well you can still do 3.4 okay 2.6 if you do really well in 2.6 you can still you know i've seen people getting excellence for 2.6 and getting not achieved for 3.6 because of that standard completely changed okay it's a different beast when it turns to year 13 so i wouldn't worry about 2.6 that much to be honest if you, just a few things it can really pick up really quickly in level three but organic is absolutely non-negotiable okay so definitely um what do we talk about in terms of polarity and organic polarity that's only for um uh, solubility so why does alkane and water give you two layers but why does alcohol and alkane uh, and water give you one layer because one is polar one's non-polar water is polar light is also light da -da -da -da. chemistry is useful engineering of course chemistry is useful engineering chemistry is useful for all the sciences is there a, this is a structure bonding question but cl less electronegative um they're they're the same they're both 3.5 so same 3.6 is the hardest no 3.6 to me is the easiest to any if you ask any excellent students at your school i can tell you from experience any excellent students from my school will tell you that 3.6 is the easiest if you ask the chief students they will tell you 3.6 is the hardest it depends on who you find who you ask when is heat required okay so heat normally when you want to go when is heat required there's actually not see the thing is with heating it's not that big of a requirement in level two it is more required in level three so technically if you want to go from alcohol to carboxylic acid you know how we say 
MnO4 minus slash H plus. This is where a bit of heat would help, but if you look at all the answers, they pretty much we don't really want you to well, we don't need you to talk about heat here. The heat definitely helps with most of the reactions, but it's not really required. Yeah. No, a three point six is not the math. Met it's not that the math is hard. It's not that you have five to six reactions. You have five to six reaction. Uh, not reactions. Formula. You just need to know when to use what. Substitute the numbers, and then you get the results. It's as simple as that. You just need to know when to use which reaction. Uh, which formula. So it's not even too much algebra per se, but mathematics definitely helps you there. And if you're going to do biomed, I would strongly recommend you to do well in 3.6 as well as 3.5. Okay, 3.6. I've 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 talked to you know I've stayed in touch with all of my graduate or most of my graduates and those of them um, those people that got into biomed they all said that 3.6 was so helpful when they got to uni because they um. That's essentially repeated the first year of uni, and they didn't need to study it because they already learned everything. However, three point five is not even that useful when you get to uni because they learn um, the 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 ring the 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 aromatic rings, the benzene rings, like which is very complex chemistry. Again, well, not even that complex, but you know more complex chemistry at level at um, at uni. So organic, again, that evol evolves into a different beast. Um, if your school don't teach 3.6 bud, um, you can have a look at my channel. I do have half of that half of that course is on my YouTube channel because I taught half of it during lockdown. So next year, if you do 3.6, you can have a look at that. Um, but yeah, 3.4 is just structure and bonding. You know how Stacy we learned pol uh, tetrahedral polarity, da 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 da, da you know all, all of that stuff. Um, 3.6, uh, 3.4, you just learn more shapes. Trigonal bipyramid, octahedral, square pyramid, you, know, just, you just learn more shapes. More intermolecular forces. And a bit of entropy, bit of an enthalpy calculation, but it's, it's if you can, yeah. Do I recommend studying 3.6? I mean, if, it te if, a school, if your school doesn't teach 3.6, um, if you self learn, it's going to take quite a bit it's going to be a bit of struggle okay but my channel should have enough on especially on the second half of that topic starting from acids and bases um the esa study guide is amazing for that stuff for that topic okay absolutely amazing i survived my first year of teaching using that little book cypads probably not I'm, I'm i'm not a big fan of cypad just a personal opinion not a big fan Cypad, EP, not a big fan. Level three calculus, uh, dude. Like <laughs> most of the stuff that you learn at school, you don't you don't use. It's so it it trains how you think. It trains you how to apply logic. It doesn't the content. You don't even use it that much. But what it does, it trains you how to how to think. So the 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 math is. You know the math. Trust me, it's not hard. It's really not hard. You just need to know when to use which formula. Okay. Uh, what school do I teach? I mean, if you go onto my channel and just look at the esports stuff, I think it's pretty obvious which school I teach at. <laughs> okay. EP just another source for practice. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, so so really, if you want to do bio mid, I will, three point six is very 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 helpful, because I've had, um, because I we, I sometimes talk again with my graduates. They know people that do Cambridge. Um, Cambridge people have a significant advantage in organic, whereas NCA people have a significant advantage in aqueous. So they do more of organic, we do more of aqueous. Bit of a trade-off. So the, the the NCA people struggle with organic when they go to uni, and then the Cambridge people struggle with aqueous when they go to uni. Okay. Yeah, I think Eric, yeah, Eric is a year thirteen from my school, so 
who sits in front of my class and reads anime. <laughs> <laughs> Or sleep. <laughs> uh, that was last year. Good times, eh, Eric. Good times. Manga, uh, novel. Okay, yeah, yeah, novel, novel. Same thing, man. It's just. <laughs> mm. On his phone, reading novels, and then complains why he doesn't get good grades. <laughs> Good times. Yeah, is Acres harder or organic? Is Stacy? Is everyone's different? You you would like something. You you'll be good at something that um. You know, you, some people will be, go, will be going. Oh my god! How do you got? How do you get this? This is so hard. How do you understand this? And you probably like because it, it just makes sense. You know, sometimes it's just like that. Yeah. Right. I think um been just. 10.30, I think, 10.40 now, Jesus. Um, so, like I said, organic is a bit, is probably the hardest one to kind of, for me to teach you guys online when everyone's sort of at different level. Um, so I think it's really, really good. What, what, what you need to what you need to do is that, um, I think the NCA server definitely helps. If you have any specific questions, you can chat that in there, or you can leave a comment, uh, leave a question in the comment section. I check that very frequently, and I tend to, you know, I'll just give you some, give you some hints and helps um, if you get stuck. But um, yeah, it, it's just, it just everything that it take, it just takes a lot of practice, guys, and I cannot emphasize enough. If you're doing cam in the future, please try harding organic it is worth it okay it is absolutely worth the effort you can trust me on this all right so sweet desk guys so reactivity in a few days and um then i'll leave you guys to the exams i think i do have another stream with you guys after that like a last minute panic attack <laughs> you know before the day the day before streams um but yeah I'm gonna head out and um, all the best with your other exams and um, if like I said leave leave some questions in the comment section if you get stuck you can find me on the NCA server um, yeah all the best have a good night guys <laughs>